At the Bombers of Kenya, the central tally point of the October 26th presidential election, the role of the chair, the national returning officer, will be to announce and declare the winner of the presidential election. This morning, uh, for the petitioners, the Supreme Court ruling that Wafula Chebukati should not make any amendments to the election results from constituencies. The ruling delivered by Justice Boma Ojuang and Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu stated that Forms 34B should reflect results as tallied from various polling centers and should there be any discrepancies with what is declared at polling stations, the chairman should declare these differences to the public while also taking into consideration the effect of the discrepancies would have on the final results. Theirs is to expose such discrepancies and leave the resolution of such issues to the election court, in this case, the Supreme Court. The judges avowing that verification would have been done by the constituency arose according to the Elections Act, this a provision that rules out the question of errors. Form 34B as a basis of declaration of vote outcome, in my view, is practically sound. In his concurring judgment, Justice Ojuang ruled that submissions in court indicated that Form 34As used to collect Forms 34Bs are not always accurate. Chebukati had sought the court's clarification following its September 1st ruling that Chebukati should have verified results before declaring President Kenyatta victor in August 8th election. Masikandia Tanui, The Big Question.